Hello? I think this is working. Well, some things are working anyway. My 3D mouse decided it didn't want to work today, which is incredibly unfortunate, but we can do this one-handed. Well, hope your day is going well. Just got back from the 3D base camp in Vancouver, which went exceedingly well, actually. Very excellent. It was an amazing experience, really. Finally be able to talk to people about things. Everything I could have hoped for, so... Yeah, huge success there. So now, I just... It was really interesting, too, because the people I met there, like, they were actually people. Like, they could understand what I was saying. They had lives that actually were very similar to mine, and I could actually interface with them in a way that I've never had before. Like, I could say words, and they could actually understand them. So, that was quite the culture shock, but... Incredible, yeah, very incredible. So... And also, they were also, um, what do you call it? They weren't SketchUp evangelists, kind of, like... They would tell to, they would say to me that I'm already kind of ready for Blender or 3ds Max or anything like that. So it's very liberating because I was expecting a lot of people there to be like, just use SketchUp all the time. Which I'll never stop using it, but it's very liberating. So continuing on. Today I was thinking I was going to make some sort of orbital drone or something. Because I took a poll on Instagram and they said something about keys, and keys are complex. So we're going to make something complex today. And I found these cool little images online. These are of uh, watches. No idea how they work. Very interesting indeed. Like, there's different kinds of watches. And different uh, blueprints you can get from, I guess, engines. Different ki times, types of engines. And this one I'm not sure on, like... It was made by a Korean artist. I'm not sure what it was supposed to represent. I guess it's just a human here. But I just like the shapes. Shapes are very, um, help you with your creativity. And cerebral stuff like that. Fun things. Very good indeed. So I think this will be a very cerebral one. It's very unfortunate. I don't have a 3D mouse, but... And things are ramping up. We're going to ramp up very soon. I'm working on a movement system for the game, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, hope you enjoy.
Uh, hello, Leo. How are things going? Ah, SketchUp Master. Well, honestly, I wish I were better than I am, actually. I haven't... Don't invest enough time into improving myself, really. Because I'm split on so many th fronts. Because it's got to get the game going. A master of sorts, but not a master of everything, I suppose. Jack of all trades, I suppose. Just trying to figure out, get a flow going, because flows are hard to find sometimes. Yeah, honestly, I wish I could um, actually have a workflow that I could explain a little bit better. Because a lot of this is very uh, procedural, so I can't really explain it. It's kind of trying to explain art, basically. I'm sure people out there would be able to, but not me. Excuse me, let's see. I want this like this. Yeah, we're just making some sort of a drone or something. Of some kind. We'll start with this middle part here, and then we'll kind of expand it outwards. I think another reference that I could use was uh, this one right here. Kind of like this, maybe. But not quite. It would be nothing like this. It kind of looks similar right now, though. And I'm missing my 3D mouse. We'll live. We can do this one-handed. Something like that, maybe. Just trying to get a direction. So yeah, I just got back from the 3D base camp. It went really well, really. It was a lot of fun meeting people of similar, similar interest that could understand the language I was speaking. Very good indeed. Definitely not something I'm used to. Yep, it was. I would keep calling it a culture shop, but really, I was, I was ready for it. I could speak properly. Like I don't believe in epiphanies or magic bullets or anything like that. I think that if you're ready for something, you're already kind of latently ready for it. Like you don't suddenly become ready for something. You already were ready, you just had to prove it. And I believe I'm ready for a lot of things now. I just had to prove it. Let's see. I've been uh, making some Blender renders. I'm gonna start doing some more organic modeling. Oh, and also I met Thom Thom, Tom Tom. I met him at the base camp. Really cool guy, he gifted me a uh, Sub D. Subdivision for SketchUp plugin. So I guess I'm obligated to do that now. Learn how to use subdivision. So that'll be fun. Right now I'm using Artisan. I'm not sure what the difference is. There might be a difference somewhere.
So yeah, it's fun stuff like that. I think I'll do some more realistic stuff as well because I've been doing mostly uh, personal universe kind of things. But I'm thinking I'm going to branch out and do more uh, realistic ones. Some more human earth technology kind of things. And human earth technology has beveled edges. Like this, I think. Or at least more of that. Let's do it with the more round. Just two grabs. I'm not saying that this is a uh, human machine, but... Or made by humans, but... More of it. Something like that, perhaps. It is very different not using a 3D mouse. I didn't used to like it, but then now it's like kind of always used to reaching for it. Let's see. Kind of breaks the flow a little bit. Have to re because a lot of it's muscle memory, and if that's if that flow is disturbed, there's a lot of kind of a cascade effect, almost. I think what happens here is one of these. This one will be kind of asymmetrical. Also make more smooth corners for this one as well. Smoother than that, perhaps. Yeah. And it's good, I figured out, to have your scenes made beforehand. So you can have uh, your profiles. For example, if you go to camera and parallel perspective, perspective all the time, you have to use your mouse way up there. So making your scenes to better reflect. Like updates right here. Go into profile mode. That should just be default all the time. Music's kind of disruptive as well. We'll get there. Something like that. Yeah, hopefully this isn't a six-hour stream like the last one. Last one was a little uh, too long. We got too much caught up in the stuff. I think that one we may make that bilateral. Or even better. like that perhaps way over there yeah it's so weird not having that mouse here's something we could try haven't been doing kit bashing lately 
What here could we use? So, decisions, decisions. It's a bit small. got our thing. Now let's mess it up. So yeah, I'm trying to make the movement system for the game now. That's going to be a can of worms. I think I'll start off with um, the racer mech. Because I don't have any actual machines made for the game, as in character-wise. And I'm kind of tired of modeling. want to get directly into the coding immediately. So we're going to make... Yeah, oh, the, the racer guy. Which racer guy is on um, right here? Let's see. Right here. So we're gonna make a movement system for this guy. That'll be a. That'll be plenty of fun right there. He's um. Not human proportions, like his legs aren't quite the same. His calves are longer than a human's. Since he has the strength to propel himself a little bit faster. Also, he doesn't have a, a gut, really, because he doesn't need one. So he'll be a very speedy boy. He'll be able to run around really fast. He'll be very dynamic as well. He'll be able to run up walls and things. That'll be fun, running around shooting at stuff. This needs some thickness. I need some detail as well. And also, we're going to ex do some experiments with splines, perhaps. Since human tech he likes to use splines. As humans do. And also there's this cool plugin right here I was messing with. Very interesting indeed. I don't think you can see it because it's, uh, it's nested here. But you can do some crazy stuff with it. Oh, we got some gimbal lock. Guess we won't work here. I'll try it with the tried and true. Section round. Not quite. One more try. Good enough. Something like that. I see. What we need is a um, bevel. So I was looking at other artists' things. 
uh, Inktober is happening right now, where everyone's t doing one drawing per day kind of thing. It's easy to feel left behind when people start doing that kind of stuff. I'd very much like to just make a bunch of models now that I have the discipline to do so. But there are more important things to do. And whenever I actually start doing that again, it'll be with procedural tools. So I can really just start spamming, spamming things all over the place really, really fast. Because these details that I'm making right now are just for fun, really. This is not the most efficient way of making things like this. Fast, perhaps, but mostly just for fun. Not quite what we want. Now, I think what we're going to do is put this over here and do some fancy things here. like that. It could be even better. That's a limitation of SketchUp. You can try and cut things like this, it won't really work. Which is rather unfortunate. So you have to do it. You have to force it to do it. this off perhaps. Another thing, before we start spamming all these kit bashing details, this one comes out of a uh, spaceship, kind of. So we'll have to make that as well. Just some doors is all. Kind of like a um, space shuttle landing bay kind of thing. Which we'll make like this. More sections. Make sure it's coplanar. Okay, make sure these are all one component. Better idea. Let's 
something like that. So yeah, some hangar bay doors right here, I think. They need to be a bit thinner though. Something like this, perhaps. More like that. There we go. And the idea is these will open up like that. What would be really cool is if I could make an animation during the stream. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I wasn't able to with the tank. And the giraffe took way too long to actually make an animation for that one. This one's pretty straightforward though. If we wanted to make animation, we could. It wouldn't take too long, really. To make them so they're bilateral, we should uh, make these all a component. There we go. Little more than that. Something like that, perhaps. Has to fit the thing, though. It's close. Something like that. Right there. I should using, be using this tool right here, actually. Auto mirror from SketchUp Plus. This whole suite right here is from SketchUp Plus. Once again, I should be really investing some time into bettering how I do stuff. Because this is just for fun right now. When I get serious, I'll actually put some effort into finding out some really fast ways of making things. I mean, this is serious in its own way, I guess. I'm not trying to downplay this. It just could be a lot faster, I believe, with procedural tools, parametrics, I went to the base camp and they came out with this new tool. It's called um, Live Components. Before you couldn't make your own, but now you can. It's a nodular network kind of thing for creating a dynamic geometry within SketchUp. Which you can mess around with them from the 3D warehouse. Let's see. And it's quite interesting. Like, that's right up my alley. If I were in, weren't so focused on the game, I'd probably go right for that and start making some parametrics within SketchUp. It would certainly help this out a lot, like speed modeling stuff. I may just look into it just for fun, because really I don't have a huge use case for it, since I'll be using the Unreal Engine for proceduralisms. I want this to go here. There. Well, that'll be fun, I think. Movement system comes first, though. That's 
priority right now. So I can have something on screen moving, running around. Probably give him a gun, shoot at stuff. Fun stuff like that. Let's see this. Something like that. But it needs a little plate here, though. Like this, perhaps. But not too much. Not uh, too much. Alrighty, so now... Let's grab some inspiration from this quick. This is kind of what we're going for, really. Some cool stuff like that. What really has my interest is these little um, divots right here. Where you have a thing, and then you have another thing. But it's connected like this, kind of. I find that interesting. So probably we'll do some more of those, really. Make this look a little less chaotic. I think also what it needs is a um, we'll start with this right here thirty two sides. What it needs is uh, another one. Simple geometry, but it becomes effective once you start putting it in certain. It's an arrangement of things. You can get away with very little when, if you do it in a specific way. Now we make this. It's good whenever you're making mechanical linkages, it's best to have it simple at first. Make sure it's unique so you don't mess up your components. Something like this. And now we do the this right here. Simple is as simple does. Yep. 
we go. Please. Yeah, it's kind of hard with that thing in the way. We'll just do it this way. And as per usual. Too complex. There is such a thing. And there is such a thing as too many edge loops as well. Right, should do it. And here's where things get interesting. Or not. We just do it simple. There we go. Oh, wait. No, they are getting interesting. We need a thing right here. A very special thing. Where's my tool that I had? There we go. It's not quite what we want, though. I tried. Let's do this. There we go. Freeform with it. Now, does that belong there or does it belong somewhere else? Probably. It belongs not quite there, but smaller perhaps. This has a very specific kind of function. If that makes sense. This one, more like this. So the way it works is, perhaps it doesn't mount like that. Do it this way. Let's 
Looks good to me. Now, the thing about this is it's also made out of uh, cylinders, not cubes. Oh, a little chamfering there. Something like this, something like that. Now something interesting has to happen here, perhaps. that can't be left open. Some fun things like that, maybe. Alright, so this got exploded. There are ways to fix that. I want you to grab my tool here. Sure, it does it. Huh. Well, this one did it. That's all that matters. Got this fancy thing here. Perhaps it goes like that. We're gonna have to start doing some more fancy things here pretty soon. This one is made out of cylinders. Like this, please. Like this, please. Alrighty, so we have our joints. How will joints work? Very carefully, perhaps. That would mean we'd have to nest them.
something like that. Make it five. Oscillate for me. Something like that. space program up in here goes in there like that. I'll do. This project for a game. Um, nope. Not this one. This one's just for fun, really. Just pull off some steam for a few hours, I guess. Make something fancy. The thing I'm working on for the game is um, this guy. Let me open him up. This project's for the game. This is what I'm working on right now. This is going to be a running movement system I'm working on for this guy using the control rig in Unreal Engine. He'll be able to run around really fast and shoot stuff. But yeah, the spaceship for now is just for fun. No plans with this one so far. Let's see. Yeah, it's just some simple stuff. Simple fun stuff. Oh, thank you very much. Something like that. Could have just made that straight up. Something like this, maybe. Ah, thank you very much. Yeah, he'll be a lot of fun to run around and do stuff with. He'll be the first prototype guy to run around with. To kind of set the mood for the other characters. Or at least the robots, not the other one. There's There'll be several species you can choose from. Or rather, character types. Customizable character, not at first, I don't believe. Maybe just colors. Movement system comes first. Just to make sure it works. Let's see. Good enough. So yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Let's see, what else was I gonna make after the movement system? 
perhaps a vehicle for it, like an actual drivable vehicle. I was kind of thinking about what would that one would be. I was looking at, let's see uh, if I can find him. Here we go. This one's going to be the first bipedal vehicle. Like his, uh, this is the way in, the egress point right here. No inside yet. They'll all have insides. I have to make those once we get serious with it and actually know what we're going for. At least with these vehicles. That'll be fun, really. But yeah, this will be the first bipedal one. I don't think we'll go bipedal first, though. Probably go with the regular vehicles, like a tank or something. Something simple, perhaps. Let's see. I mean, there's always this one. If we want it. But I think, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe one with actual wheels, maybe. That's not the Mud Skipper. Indeed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to too. It'll be a lot of fun, really. A lot of cool stuff to be able to do. I think, yeah, for the movement system, it'll just be running for running around, kind of dynamic. Kind of, whenever you're thinking about it, think of overgrowth, kind of, where it's semi-procedural. Except for this one, it'll be kind of more... What do you call it? You can run into things and stuff. You can trip over stuff. But also very responsive as well. You'll be very a fast boy. Speedy boy. No slow characters, really. Alrighty. So this, let's go like this. Yeah, I'm trying to break into some... What do you call it? Smooth modeling, like for 3DS Max and Blender. Which... I'm not convinced, but we'll get there. I'll never stop using SketchUp, especially since I have some models I have to finish. And I don't want to mess up the, what do you call it? The aesthetic. If it's not broken, don't fix it. But yeah, for the characters, I'll definitely need something else, I think. I think we'll leave that that way, actually. Because, yeah, I have to finish the beast, too. He's been sitting dormant for way too long. Like, I could finish him really fast now that I have the discipline for it, but I have to figure out precisely what he's going to be like gameplay-wise. If it weren't for that, I could really just finish him right here, right now. Kind of thing. Like, let's see. Like this darn thing. Yeah, this wouldn't take very long to finish. I would say maybe like a month, maybe. If I... Not even a month. Maybe like a few weeks. If I decided I wanted to finish this. I mean, it has a lot of problems here and there, like... Some polygons are like too many in certain spots. It's meant to be low poly because it's for the game. Which is already at a million, so we have to really cut it down somewhere. Because we still have this whole gun here. But yeah, this won't. This ain't nothing. He's nothing. He'll go a lot faster. I think we'll make more of these ones, actually. There'll be three other mobile super destroyers. Now that we have our system, those shouldn't take nearly so long. And plus, there's a lot of cleaning up we have to do here, like, to make it so you can actually have playable space. Right now, it's just one single corridor. Can't have that. It has to be the whole thing. For gameplay reasons. But we'll slay that beast when we get to it. Let's see. Back to what we were doing. Uh, not really. Uh, Unreal Engine can handle a lot of polygons. I think what's going to be the bottleneck is physics. And, like, actual streaming and stuff like that. 
It'll be kind of a can of worms. A lot of um, specialized optimization to go along with it. Almost not worth it for that particular model because it's not very scalable. It's very specific to that model. But that one has kind of a, uh, what do you call it? I have a personal vendetta to get that working, so. We'll get him working. And then probably some other super destroyers. Yeah, the engine can handle it. It's all the way it's done, basically. Because there'll only be like one or two of them on the field. There won't be like a lot of them. I can imagine it would start chugging if there was like more than three. Yeah, I mean, there'll be a can of worms. Definitely. But Unreal Engine can handle a lot of polygons. Even without Nanite, it can handle it. Just have to get the physics correct. Something like this. But yeah, it'd be a, kind of a can of worms. I think though another problem would be the projectiles, because it's going to be slinging a lot of projectiles, since it has a lot of guns, and you'll be able to customize the guns to have more guns. So that might be a little too much, even for actor pooling. This isn't War Thunder, so I'll have to do some optimization tests there. I'm not too uh, confident about that. Polygons, yes. The projectiles, not so much. I just had to do a lot of optimization for it. Make them so they're not really physicalized, I suppose. Let's see what we were doing. We were trying to... Uh, yeah, we need thrust. He needs thrust. What we need right here. Not sure why this is open. So yeah, it'll it'll handle it. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of work, can, a lot of work to do, get it to work that way though. That's not something you can just drag and drop in and say, "Hey, it works." Not gonna. That's not how it's gonna work. But. Gotta get the movement system first. Movement system comes before anything else. And then the base construction system, perhaps. But things are gonna start happening very fast. Now. I mean, at this point. It's taken a while to actually nail down the process. And it's not it's still not quite nailed down, I don't believe. But it will it's faster now because we'll be working on it. We'll actually be working on it. And not just pretending like organizing things. Now is the time for some research. I think I'll also look into Blender's geometry nodes. That's going to have to wait until after the movement system. Don't want that. Like this. But yeah, it'll be fun. Oh, speaking of giant models, I said I was going to work on the walking castle, which is... Let me wait for this to load. I have a regular hard drive, not a solid state, which is alluding to what I'm about to say about this model, because I don't have the system to handle it is why. Like... I had every intention of putting this in the Unreal Engine right here. 
Like, I was going to polish this up and actually make it so it's palatable geometry. Like, modularized. Make it so it works in the Unreal Engine. But, I don't have the graphics card. I don't have the hard drive. I don't have the RAM, really. It's too much. My GTX 970 can't handle it. So, we're going to have to put this on the back burner, I think. This one has to happen, too, though. There's many things that has to happen. It's going to be quite a speed run. Getting to where I need to be. So, yeah. I think it's kind of chicken before the egg kind of thing. It's very unfortunate, but we I gotta work with it. We'll get there though. Yeah, just doing things for fun right now. Because these things they're gonna get kind of stressful. Just doing a lot of things that I have to do research into, like the control rig. I don't have a therm grasp on it yet. So I'm going to do a lot of pose-based animation with blueprint, make it so it's procedural. Procedural animation. There's going to be a lot of trial and error with that. But it, that'll be... That shouldn't be too hard, I don't believe. Pretty straightforward. Just kind of... Because the next test is organization. Last test was interfacing with other people because I have to assemble a team pretty soon. I mean, not soon. Definitely not soon, but sometime. But I passed that test. Next test is organization. Can I handle multiple projects at the same time? And I have to... It's a trial of fire kind of thing. You have to put everything you have into it. There's no messing around now. This is not the time to mess around. This is actually the only time I plan on messing around. That's why I rebel. I want to make models. Models are fun. If I could make models just forever, I'd just make them forever. If I could... It's easy to be a professional modeler, I think. Okay, don't quote me on that. No, it's definitely not easy. Certainly not easy. It's just... It's just fun. Well, actually, I wouldn't call it fun, either, depending on who you're working for. But it's just really chomping at the bit, because I'm my own boss now. And I have to tell myself what to do. And it's just... Yeah, not the greatest sometimes. Sometimes you wish you had someone telling you what to do. Because that's so much, like, you don't have to worry about a lot of things with that. When you have someone telling you what to do. And there's nothing wrong with it, really. I'll probably get an industry job after school. At least temporarily. Okay. We're getting distracted. What we have to do here is... This. So yeah, we'll see what happens after school. But this is the golden age right here. Already? 48. Yeah, these next few months are crucial. Because I have to find a system where I can work on multiple uh, aspects of the game at the same time. And have a very uh, productive work mentality. It's a long road. Because it's not necessarily planning things ahead, ahead of time. That's the problem. The problem is the effort. It's always the effort. That's what separates things. Like, you could have... That's why people say that ideas are cheap. 
ideas are worth nothing. You could have a well fleshed out game design document and it'd still be worth not a whole lot. Like, no one's going to steal your idea. Because making video games is effort. And that's paramount. That is the secret to make a good game. That's it. I mean, well, that's not it, but that's most of it. So, I have to really hit it hard and do it. Now is the time. What I'm worried about is if I start using Blender, I wonder if it has these component options. It would really suck if it didn't. Those components are very powerful. We can make a lot of detail in a very short amount of time. Some sort of array right here. Up, please. There. Now, what sort of other animated things do we want on this? Animatable things. Maybe not quite that much right there. I think it's missing some sort of gimbal. Yeah, that's what it's missing. Gimbal should go right there. Right there, please. There. Oh, remember, I keep forgetting this thing. There we go. Can't be bilateral. At least I don't think it should be. Probably should be. There we go. No, that, that is a prop. We can't have it bilateral. Because if we wanted to rotate it in the animator, it can't be by the rattle. There we go. Now it can't be. Be its own thing, his own person. There we go. And he shall be a wonderful gimbal. Left him behind. Come here, you. Spin for me. Okay, so his axis is off. That's the importance of having guidelines. Because then you end up with stuff like that. 
At least we know he works. Alrighty. Give you a guideline. And make you an ice gimbal. Something like that, perhaps. I want it to be more asymmetrical, though. Something like that, maybe. I don't want to make it too much like a robot, too, though, because this is more of a manned vessel. This is not... I've made too many robots. And mixtures of robots. Like, I can't even tell if the last one was a robot or not. Let me see. Like the giraffe. Is it a robot or is it a manned vehicle? I think it's more of a manned vehicle. Um, this is how it renders. I mean, it has a cockpit. I guess it's more of a manned vehicle. It's a person. So yeah, I guess that's a vehicle. But I have so many robots though. Too many robots. This one I'm not sure on. It may be part of the game, I'm not sure. We'll see. This one for sure will be part of the game. I mean, this one's really nice, though. It would be a shame not to. Anyway. Back to this silly thing. This one won't... Yeah, this one's... No plans for this one, I don't believe. Right here, perhaps. More like that. We're getting there. I don't want this stream to go along for nearly as long as the last one. The last one was way too long. Way, 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 way too long. Actually, we forgot to use our kit bash. Let's draw some inspiration. Fun stuff. Okay. How could we use these? Perhaps they should be small. Something like that. Don't want to spam them too much. I think we start off with that one, actually. That's my favorite. Some nice little panels there. Excuse me. There. Let's 
something like that. More like that. You never have too many pipes. Almost. Ripples are always fun. I honestly, I don't make spaceships a whole lot because I think they're too easy. I mean, which is kind of a dumb thing to say, really. I mean, I'm doing this for fun. Why not do it for fun? I should just make spaceships all the time. Hold up. What do you need here? Something... There is such a thing as too much detail. If you put too much, you'll end up with a little bit of a mess. Let's see. So our axes are on their way. There we go. But if you do have a lot of detail, you can either cover it up, or you can add de more detail to make it even. Never delete detail. That's the secret. If you have too much, you cover it. Yeah, there's never... There is such a thing as too much detail, but... Depends on the application. Depends on where it is. I mean, it's, if it's for a game, then yeah, definitely. Probably isn't the best idea to cover it up. Because it will haunt you later. Alright, Mr. Gimbal. This way. Perhaps one more. More size on this circle. You don't want to get too caught up in the smaller things. Because then you'll have to do a lot more smaller things, and then you end up with six-hour streams like last time. How about no? Okay, I keep it a little bit tame, perhaps.
we want that? Let's see. Yeah, I guess so. We just need a thing then. Now we don't want that. Insides. Hmm. Um, a little bit. Not a whole lot, really. That's a good idea, though. I have the capability for that. I believe last time I tried that, it was for... Let's see. It's an old, old model. I don't know if I'll be able to find it offhand. I mean, the last spaceship I did was yours truly. Right here. Which this took... This was a speed run. This was a huge speed run. That's not the inside of a spaceship, though. Let's see if I can find the other one. Oh, here we go. It's right here. This one's an old, 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 old model right here. Ancient history, kind of. This was more of a game concept. I mean, I don't know if that counts as an interior, really. That's, like, just one tiny thing. That'd be really fun to make an actual interior of something. The spaceship. But yeah, that's a good idea. Interesting. I like cutaways of things. Cutaways of models are really fun. Honestly, a cutaway... There's so many things I have to do still. Like, I have to make a cutaway. I have to make a detailed architectural rendering. I have to make a um, transformer. Like, something that transforms. So many things we have to do. Like, I'm not really good at architecture. Because... SketchUp is meant for architecture, so I kind of avoided it. That's why I feel it's too easy. But then now that I'm doing it, I see it's not so easy. It doesn't just happen. You don't just happen to be good at architecture. Trying out different plugins and things. But yeah, an interior of a spaceship would be really fun. Honestly. Good idea. And we can make it, like, fun stuff. Like, we may have a lot of detail and things. Maybe we have the inside of the spaceship, like, the, what do you call it? The superstructure and stuff. Not even just the rooms. Kind of like those cutaways you find in Star Wars books. That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, now well, we got this little POS. Once you start opening up models that actually look nice, it's like, oh. Then you get uh, an actual... Fresh eyes. I mean, this one's not finished by far, but... What this needs is color. Because the reason I had my... Where'd it go? I had... Went missing. I guess I didn't have it on this file. Well, I had this, um... Reference I had. Let me see if I had it. Yeah, my reference ran away. That's weird. I had a reference right here. Oh, now it's, now it's there. That should be an overlay. Next. Positioned. There. Scale. I'm not sure why it disappeared. That was my reference. The Not only just for the gears and stuff, but also for the colors. Like, I want... That's the kind of the color scheme I want for this one. Which, actually, I think we just start right now. Okay, the details are off. Something's off. We'll have to start doing the tried and true. Once again, you get cut. Don't get lost in the sauce. Get lost in the sauce. Sauce is delicious, actually. Yeah, I don't recommend that for actual video game models. We're going to cover details. 
actually go back and get rid of the details. But these ones are poking through just enough that they're actually there, so. So it adds some flavor. Alrighty, let's start with these colors. Let's see, something fun. Some gray material, perhaps. And the blue should be reserved for certain pieces. Perhaps this one. I'll move over gold color. Huh. I'm biased towards this color. This is my favorite color. I try to avoid doing too many favorites, though. Because then they start leaning on it a little too much. Let's see. Just start spamming it. It's a nice base color. Something like that. Perhaps right here, too. Some fun colors. And here's a special tool I might use here, if it works. Some very special tool. If I can find where it is. One of these tools is the one I'm looking for. Here we go. There we go. Easy cheesy. Looks like a Star Wars ship. getting somewhere. Now what we need is our reference. Like that. Massive robots. Played enslaved journey to the west. Interesting. I mean, I don't recognize the name, but I think I know what you're talking about, but I wouldn't know for sure unless I saw it for real. I'm going to, uh, yeah, make a mental note. No, I'll well, look at the stream afterwards. I'm very interested in looking that up now. I say that a lot, but I do actually look things up after the stream. So, yeah, I wonder, yeah, Saddle of the Colossus, PS2 games, stuff like that. Very interesting. Massive robots. Yeah, I, I don't think... I mean, they're just regular robots except bigger, I believe. There's not a lot of... Huge amount of dynamics. I believe. It's all about the dynamics. You can, get, you can get away a lot with... If you optimize things. Because from the player's perspective, it looks huge. Like, how could such a thing... Work? But in reality, it's just a small machine. Scaled to be bigger. It's all 
smoke and mirrors, kind of. Already? There's his house. Yeah, shadows don't work well. Okay, we've got some issues here and there. Right here specifically. I'm the Powerball winner! Woo! How do people get my number? Wow. That's new. Yeah, very interesting. I have to be very careful though, because I really want to go crazy with the dynamics. Where you can um, take off individual components of the machine. Very dynamic, kind of like that. Be very careful. Because that's where the bottleneck will happen. It's not the polygons, it's the dynamics. You can get away with a lot of polygons. Go in, not out. Guess not. I wish profiles worked better. Because my graphics card, I have a GTX 970. If I turn profiles on, it'll be like, eh slow it down just enough where it makes it so it's inconvenient. Unfortunately. Alrighty, so... We gotta concentrate again. What happened happen here is... Does it go like this or not? I don't believe so. So what has to happen here? Something special. Some Kirby tubes. Something like that. I wish I were better at Bezier curves. I do it the old school way. Perhaps not the most efficient way. Let's see. Taper, I want it to be 12 sided. 200 to 50. Kind of like that. All the groups. Never work with groups. Work groups are the devil. You make them components. Components make the world go round. Literally. Like when you start making stuff like that. You want components, not groups. Okay, let's see.
like a little connector here. Ew. Guess we'll have to do it live. Something like that. We've got our tubes. I don't want it to taper at the end though. I think we need one more color on here. Just a cheap little bevel. Let's see, perhaps these as well. Almost. Yeah, interesting. I'm seeing a lot of other games that have very large robots. I'm trying to really do some research on all, all the games that have those kind of things. And maybe get some inspiration, perhaps. Because gameplay-wise, I'm not exactly sure... Like, if they'll actually be that fun to shoot giant robots. Because shooting a player is fun, but shooting a giant robot, it depends. Very much depends. It's going to be a lot of gameplay testing for that. Is it fun to shoot giant robots? I think if the components break off, yes. And that's why I was talking about the performance cost of it. Who knows how much that will cost. Let's see. thingy right here. I mean, because when you get to the Godzilla-sized ones, yes, they'll certainly be fun then. Little ones, I'm not sure. But little big ones, yes. post a link in the chat. Uh, honestly, I wish you could. I mean, I've had a lot of problems where I want someone to post a link and then it just doesn't let you. Like, I don't have a good system for that yet. You can try. See if it goes through. Once again, I have to do more research on things. How to have a Dropbox or something that I could post links. I mean, you could just um, DM me on Instagram, I guess, but then you'd have to get Instagram. YouTube is dumb with its whatever it is. Wish you had the option of just saying that people can post links. Let's see. Getting caught up in the details again. Gotta be my own boss. Tell myself to stop getting lost in the sauce. Okay. This has to go like this. H -A -H -T -P -P -S. Oh. Is that so? 
Oh, yeah, give it a try. You have my permission to post a link in the chat. If it'll go through. All right. We completely forgot our attitude adjusters. All right, let's adjust our attitude. What do we got here? Fancy. That's not a big one, but it's pretty cool still. Ah, oh, did it go through? I don't think I see it. Yeah, I mean, I can look it up if you, if it's not working. I think there's a way to circumvent it. Oh, speaking of which, actually, I was looking at uh, other person's model. I was so like impressed by it. Let me see if I can open it up. One of my idols, I guess. I've known. I mean, I've watched this guy for a long time. Let's see. Be there's to be this thing. Because this is little peanut stuff compared to this monstrosity right about here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If you have a... If it has a name, then I could probably look it up. Yeah, there's stuff... I want to make st more stuff like this. Because this wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to make this in, the, in a stream because it takes too long. This would take at least three streams. But stuff like this is very delicious. But I don't know a whole lot about these linkages, though. Delicious! Yeah, this was made by uh, Robot vs. Dinosaurs. That's his username. Cool guy. I mean, this is not a very, uh, very uh, functional design, but it does have functional parts in it. Let's see. The thing I was thinking of was... Let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. These things. Let's take some inspiration from these things. We're not going to steal them because that would be stealing. But take some inspiration. Hmm. There are certainly a lot of tubes involved. Miss a few. Yeah, that is some nice details. This is the kind of stuff I should be doing. I didn't make this one. Some other some other person did. With the the camera and the weird spots and stuff like that. Yeah, this is human technology. I don't make human technology. Most of the things I make are just otherworldly kind of because I don't not, I don't have a um, what do you call it industrial designer degree or anything like that so things of the real world are a mystery to me it is the machines of my own mind that I kind of make make up your own rules which will really help for the game whenever making the rules for that because then they'll be self consistent so it's not all it's not all bad making your own junk it's just unfortunate because you won't get this cool stuff. They just kind of get caricatures of things. Things that are just kind of don't really make sense. Let's see. Yeah, wish I could make... I mean, I can make stuff like that. Very easily, actually. I just had to make a consorted effort, but I haven't found the reason to because the game won't have human technology in it. I mean, human technology is something I could very well do. I just don't have a reason for it. I'm too caught up making other stuff. Things that don't exist in the real world. Technology doesn't really exist. Just a little stuff like this. But honestly, I should just go look around at other people's stuff. I mean, for inspiration, because people make the coolest things. Like, there's some people from Russia that are like, 
They blow my mind consistently. Like this. How do they do that? They're insane. Like they may throw out stuff like this right here. Like it's crazy. Look at that geometry. It's so delicious. Delicious geometry. And it's all components as well. Yes. I mean, but here's a glaring problem with this aesthetic, though. You start to see the same thing over and over again. Like, you can't really pick apart the artist from this. Like, this could have been anyone. It's one block, one block. It's detailed blocks, basically. Which, I don't... That's not a detriment. This is incredible. I wish... No, I want to make stuff like this. If I had the reason to. Look how clean it is, really. I just don't have a reason to. I wonder if this is like Boolean geometry. It's too clean to be Boolean. I think maybe joint push-pull, perhaps. Do you put bolts and nuts? Hmm. Not as much as I should. Because I just don't know where to put them a lot of times. Which this one doesn't have a whole lot on it, but... It has this cool array right here. Here's an interesting thing about SketchUp. You could have a component, and it can be cut into objects. Like, see how it's kind of recessed into this geometry? Magic! Look at that magic. It automatically cuts a hole in that geometry. So that's the cool thing about SketchUp. Which kind of hurts sometimes because you're trying to do something that it kind of messes up your geometry without you knowing. But stuff like this is like taking full advantage of it. Oh, he's got a bunch of interior faces though. I guess it doesn't matter for visualization. Like, I don't really know, I don't really use bolts and stuff. Like, I tried to make, let's see, da -da -da -da, if I can find it. It would be in the March of Robots. Yeah. Yeah, SketchUp has a lot of weird little ins and outs like that. Like, I tried putting bolts on this guy. At least in the render. Let me see if I can find that. There we go. Like... These are just decals, though. These are in the Substance Painter. I kind of a low-res render, because I had to make this in, like, two or three days. Or, like, yeah, just two days. So, yeah. I need to make higher-res renders. Put some more effort into some images. A lot of this stuff, I say it's low effort. I mean, it's high effort, but in a very short amount of time is the problem. Really need to start making some high-effort things in a large amount of time. Then we can get some fun things. Yeah, it's missing bolts. Where are the bolts? It's not human technology, but you think they'd use bolts too, right? Like, I had bolts on... Let me see. When I first discovered you can make bolts, way back in the day, I just went crazy with them. Like, they're just everywhere now. Just haphazardly, for no reason. Which, forgive me, this is an ancient model. So, yeah, they're just all over the place. I don't know. I'm not an industrial designer. I make silly stuff. Not serious stuff. I make silly stuff in a serious way, I suppose. Yep, I posted these around. On my Instagram and whatever else. ArtStation. ArtStation is the most, uh, what do you call it? Polished place. Which, unfortunately, I cannot post my links in the YouTube chat, which really sucks. I guess look, look up Blue Blanky on ArtStation. That's where most of my renders are. Which was plenty of cool renders. Like, March of Robots, we made so many cool renders. Da -da -da -da, if I can find a cool one. Like, we have this thing. Someone says that it has an early 2000s vibe to it. I don't disagree. my shadows here. 
But yeah, I need to work more on stuff. Artistic engineering. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Wouldn't call it engineering in the slightest, but... It's fun, though. Let's see, back to our... Thing will bop. Okay, this guy is missing something. He's missing something. I don't think bolts would work on a spaceship. Oh, they could. We could start spamming bolts everywhere. That'd be fun. It wouldn't be, I don't think, spaceships have bolts all over them. Something like that. I would like to make a small animation for this before the stream ends, though. Let's see. Oh yeah, we forgot our attitude. Let's remember our inspiration and make some attitude. I think that's enough edges. Oh my. Let's try this. There we go. I think we need like what we had. He had like he had little um, what do you call them? Little divots on there. Something like that, maybe. Keep forgetting the wrong one. Something like that. Perhaps every other one. Yes, so it's good enough. Already, like that. It's kind of going to be really small, so we don't need a whole lot of edges. Wait, hold on. No, we're good. That's going to be really small, not nearly this big. You should start out with big components and then work smaller, because if you start out too small, you end up with precision errors. And you can't have that. I keep forgetting I have this tool right here. Alrighty. Yeah, I would just call it artistic. I wish I was. I wish I were an engineer. That'd be so cool. Then I could actually understand what I'm making, kind of. Like that kind of cool stuff. Because these are the real geniuses. Wow. That's so cool. How do they do that? Like, what does this all mean? How does it work? This is a, it's supposed to be a watch, I think. And like, you think, just when you think you understand it, this one over here is different. That takes some real skill there. Not only just to make it, but to design it, like, crazy. We don't need this right here. Okay, these are gonna be really small. And I think what he did, we had a lot of tubes. All sorts of tubes. Now where should this go? Perhaps right here. Not too close. Probably not angled either. 
Do we really need it to be like this, though? Yeah, perhaps. Okay, hold on. Yeah. You can't hide from me. Something like that. do it like this. Daunting bracket. Like that. Alrighty. If we stretch this, it would be the first result. Ah, enslave Odyssey of the West. Ah, so it's gonna be a doggy dog? Cool. I think someone just made a. One of my idols on Art Station just made a dog. I think his name is Madden something. I'm like, don't. Don't specifically. And he made a doggy dog. Mech robot. Very cool. Oops. There we go. Let's see. We got our thing with Bob. Now what has to happen? Our little complicated thing, Bob. Now, I'm not sure if this needs a massive booster or anything. I mean, it's just a, um, what do you call it? It's inside this little house. Does it need a, a ha have a huge booster? I mean, in most movies, yes, because it would have to go through the space goo. Because everyone knows there's space goo in outer space that holds you back, and you have to have your engines on all the time. Oh, wait a minute. Derp. Duh! What was I thinking? My brain's been somewhere else. I am stupid. These are the engines. I get kind of caught up in things sometimes. The dog. 15 foot high dog. Uh oh. That'd be terrifying. At least it's not a spider or something. Speaking of which... Oh, we, we gotta use all these. That'll be fun. So, here's a mix of a spider and a dog. Spider dog. And 15 foot high, let's see. 15 foot high would be around how many stories? Two stories, you think? How many stories is this one? Let's see. Let's count the stories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times eight. Like 50 some odd, 58, somewhere around there. So this is like 60 foot. Tall. I wouldn't say tall, that's more long. If this is 60, then this would be kind of like 25, 30. This is 25 foot tall just by like this. Huh. Already. Well, this will be a boss you have to face. I mean, actually, I'm not sure if this one specifically. This is more of a concept model. I'm not sure if it'll actually be in the game. We'll have to see. He may, he may or may not. Let's see. All right, let's start speed running a little bit more. Of the super force of space 
last three base camp. Oh, I certainly did. It was excellent. Everything I could hope for. I met so many cool people. And they could actually speak my language, kind of. Like, they could actually understand what I'm saying. Because where I live is like, no one does. So I was like, finally. It's finally something. And I met everyone I wanted to as well. Like, I looked around, I sought people out, kind of headhunted a little bit. So yeah, it was quite the experience. Actually, it was the first time leaving the USA, actually. First time seeing a lot of things. It was so cool. Yeah, and it went well. I did the presentation, two of them. And it went exceptionally well. Like, people really liked it. It was fun. And standing in front of an audience actually presenting, that's also a new experience. But yeah, I went full focus for it. There were no mess there were no mess ups here. Once you have a control on something, you really gotta focus on it. That's the cool thing about it. If you focus on something, you're much less likely to fail. So went really well. It was a lot of fun, too. I mean, it was quite the experience. Very different. Game developers? Oh, yeah, I met um, Rodrigo. I mean, he's not a developer, but he would very well like want to be. He makes them for video games. And he wants to be a developer. Yeah, Rodrigo. He's from Brazil, I believe. He's a really cool guy, honestly. We really hit it off. We could un yeah, we have so much in common. Yeah, actually, I texted him before I started streaming just so he could maybe be here. But yeah, really cool guy. He makes um, cartoony kind of models, like colorful. Really complicated scenes of Star Wars and New York City. And just about everything else. He had a huge catalog of things he made. I think his name is... Um, Username is, uh, da, 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 da. I forgot. How can I forget? It starts with an A. Oh, to the next one in 2024. Yeah, I mean, it was worth it. I liked it a lot, really. I heard rumors it might be in London. I'm not sure. That's tentative. It may or may not. Yes, Rodrigo is by Bigo. Yes, that's him. Be go on uh, Instagram or wherever else. Yeah, cool guy. Like, we were actually legit friends there, like, because he felt kind of, like, alone because he was the only other person there that was making models for video games. Everyone else was architecture. So we really held it down in the, ar the video game department. It was really quite something. Yeah, we were talking to Aaron, the SketchUp guy. We got a picture with him as well. Which I didn't have it sent to me yet. We'll see. It was just, yeah, it was fun all around. I met Aaron, I met Tyson, I met a lot of people. I met uh, SketchUp Plus. I mean, no, SketchUp Essentials. His name is uh, Justin. Yeah, I met everyone talk to everyone. I specifically sought them out because I was not going home without talking to these people. And yeah, it went really well. A lot of chance encounters, like serendipitous encounters, like I'm looking for a specific person and then suddenly they're right in front of me. Kind of thing. I left no loose ends. Divine providence almost. Come on, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I get it. Yes, it goes like this. Yeah, it was quite the experience. Highly recommend. Which is unfortunate that they didn't uh, 
record the streams, I mean the presentations. I was really looking forward to that. They said everything that happens at base camp kind of has to stay at base camp. Really unfortunate. But I recorded uh, Rodrigo's stream, I mean Bigo's stream, and he recorded mine, so... Which, I haven't received it yet, but he did. Alright. Now what do we need to do for this thing? We need engines. So yeah, it'd be really nice if he could... Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. I might just outline it here on YouTube. I really can't do it proper here on YouTube. For reasons, but... I could outline it. It just goes through my whole history of SketchUp. Like how I got to this point. Like, who got me into it kind of thing. Or both. Ah, excellent. Yeah. So, I've reached the point where I can use Blender now. I mean, because I have the attention span for it. I'll never stop using SketchUp, especially since I have so many models that are incomplete. The prototype will be made with SketchUp, but... Yeah. Game dev is where it's at. This is the best time for it. Yes, Bigo is so cool. Yeah, and I learned a lot about Brazil as well. Because I'm a really cloistered kind of person. Brazil sounds like a cool place. And it says Argentina is really pretty. Ah, the SketchUp game. So, I was looking at it. it rec the thing is, I couldn't get it installed on 2020 or 2022. So, I have to get, I have to really um, dig into my 2020, 2018. I think I could get it working there. There's a few things I have to, yeah. I looked at it, but I couldn't get it to work yet. I'll do a consorted effort uh, soon because I'll have more time now. I just didn't have any time whenever the base camp was going on. Okay, how can we finish this thing? But yeah, I'm definitely interested. I really want to look that up. I mean, look into it. See if it works. Get it to work. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to ask. How are things in Puerto... You're from Puerto Rico, right? I think. Someone was. I believe, yeah. No, I think it might have been somewhere else. Because, yeah. Things are going down there, I think. So I hope he's alright. Yeah. I'm very interested in trying that out. Like, it's hard to me to imagine, like... Is it in that, like, coded in SketchUp, or is it like... Oh, yeah. How are things there? Did the power... Is the power all right? Power didn't go down? I heard st stuff. Puerto Rican guy. Cool. Yeah, hopefully... So I'm assuming things are good then. Like, no power outages or anything like that. So no crazy stuff already. Well, this is getting close. I think we'll start putting in those, the finer details. Ah, I see. Not a good situation to be in. I think we'll do the same here. A basic transformation, nothing fancy. Skewed. But it'll work. Actually, no, it will not work. Okay. Yeah. 
actually. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad... Well, at least you have electricity. Bad situation to be in. I'd go crazy without electricity. Because, I mean, I can be a traditional artist. I have done traditional art. A lot of it, but... I would go crazy because I have a lot of things I have to do with the game. When you start coding in SketchUp, attention, I saw the Google Talk with Scott Linger, showcase platformer, you can play right inside SketchUp. What the? You're blowing my mind. A video game in SketchUp. Now, that's not something you hear of every day. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, definitely going to look into that. Um, too much detail. No, this ain't right. Good. Utak is still on YouTube. 2008. Wow. Time flies. Let's see. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Look into that. Alrighty, let's start spamming these details and start polishing up our uh, whatever that thing was. Let's see. I've made games for SketchUp. Cool. Yeah, I'm not well rehearsed in that. I've looked into sketchy physics. I've been messing around with that. People have made robots in sketchy physics. Physically based robots. But I've never seen a video game. That is interesting. Oh wow. 2004. That's intense. Cool. I've been using it since um, 2006, 2007. So you are a dedicated individual. Cool. That's a long time. When did SketchUp come out? Around that time? Wow. Coding in SketchUp, I imagine, is far more difficult than modeling in SketchUp, I'd imagine. Wow. I have a lot to look into. I'm not well rehearsed. I've been in my own little bubble for way too long. Away from civilization, kind of. Yeah, this 3D base camp was my way to break out of the show. To see the wider world, kind of thing. So yeah, I need to start looking, doing my research. Start to look into the past a little bit. It'll help. Definitely. What would really sell this design is uh, right here. Make this translucent. It almost did. I think this goes here. Keep forgetting the no I no I did forget actually. The say the sides in um SketchUp are two dimen two sided. Hold up. Yeah, a first person suture in SketchUp. That's crazy. How do they do that? I think I tried to make a first-person shooter in a game called, what do you call it? Da -da -da -da, it was called... Trials Evolution, I think. Or Trials. It was like this BMX game. You could make things out of trash, kind of. It actually had a whole coding system in it. That's actually what got me into coding a little bit. 
So I was making tanks out of trash. I was making a first person shooter out of trash. Literal trash, because it gives you like um, tires and bits of metal and stuff like that in the BMX game. You're super busy. Oh yeah, that that is a generous offer though. Thank you. I would certainly love to. It's just I'm, yeah, I'm very caught up. I'm trying to make that movement system for the runner guy. I keep opening him up. Let's see. Uh, for Mr. Runner Guy. I'm too, I chose this guy because he kind of more represents the robot style I'm going for. So he'll be kind of, he'll be the first prototype character in the game, moving around, running around, doing him stuff. And I decided the movement system has to come first because you can't have a place and not have something moving around in it because you don't know what's relevant. You just don't know. So yeah, we'll start with this guy. C sharp, start learn to code games. Cool. Yeah, I think Unreal uses C++. Does Unity use C sharp? I don't know. Yeah, I'm still using Blueprint. I don't really need I mean, I definitely need, but don't really. I'm more of a visual kind of person. Noodle messes really get me going. Let's see. I mean, this could use a lot of TLC, but we'll keep it moving. Whoop. There we go. Now this will be kind of a great cover. With gold undertones. Ah, C sharp. Cool. More difficult. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'll have to do a little bit of that to make things efficient. So it will be kind of a can of worms. I think once you know blueprints, though, you probably have a bit of a handle on it. So it shouldn't be horrific, I don't think. Yeah, I just need to make little tiny snippets of it. I don't have to make the whole thing uh, C++. Most of it's going to be Blueprint. They say if you're going to do it, do both. I'm not convinced by this yellow color. Maybe it's better if it was um, red. I don't know. Yellow seems all right. I don't know. Clashing colors. Something is wrong here. I think we'll leave it yellow, but this turn this one different. I'm biased towards blue, honestly. This one's kind of a dark color. Where is this? Oh, with the game engine called Construct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Construct, definitely. Construct is cool. Where's SketchUp YouTube makes movie trailers? Um, I don't believe I have. I have seen uh, Chris Rosewarn stuff for Bond films and stuff like that. I don't think, not trailers, I don't believe. I'm not well rehearsed, honestly. In things. Oh, yeah, that stuff. I think I have seen trailers like that. I don't remember if they were actually that great, but... I mean, to each their own. No. They're good. They're great. They're most excellent. No, yeah, I remember them now. 
No, they were pretty interesting. Like, they were very... They had a lot of cool dynamics with them. They're very impressive for what SketchUp could do. Already. I mean, this is close. It's just missing all the little, little tiny details, really. Little details that we could go crazy with. Like right here. Yeah, I know. Like, I was talking to... Um, Din Don Master. He was trying to send a link as well. I hate how YouTube won't allow you to send links. Oops. Like, it's just... I really wish you could. There has to be a better system for it. And also, I was talking to before that I would have some sort of ways... Like a site that I could... Take those links. But I haven't gotten around to it. Darn it. Yeah, I, I wish you could just say, tell YouTube, hey, allow the links. Let me manage my own stream, thank you. So we can have links in the chat. Wouldn't that be fun? Be, yeah, come on. YouTube? Something like that, perhaps. Just getting into the nitty gritty now. I should have pulled up a reference for shuttle bay doors. I think we use one in the new advertising. Cool. Yeah, I have. I saw a little bit of the trailer. I think that'll be fun to see. Actually, I saw a lot of the trailers for the first one, too, and I was like, well, okay. Saw that one. Yeah, I'm excited for that, too. That'd be so cool. I think this one's water-flavored, right? Kind of like Avatar, books of whatever. Oh, wait. That literally is Avatar. I lied. Like the last airbender kind of thing. This one's water-flavored. Oh, that'll be fun. I look forward to the effects. And the mech designs as well. I want to see those mech designs. I'm pretty sure they got some high-budget people on there. Some very talented artists, I believe. So yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm spooling these details manually, which I really shouldn't. Just kind of winding down, I think. Because thinking requires effort. Let's see. Which, making a game is all about effort, though. So you have to fight it. You have to fight that urge to not sit down and do nothing. You must rise to the occasion. So then new technology to watch you without special glasses. Dude. That'd be so cool. I should have done that a long time ago. Yeah, we don't have to wear those glasses anymore. We should have like holograms and stuff. It's 2022, 2022 guys. I want them holograms. Well, I mean, I'm not sure how the tech would actually work. Is it like polarized? How would that work? Yeah, we'll just have to see. That will be fun. Oh, we completely neglected the bottom. We'll just throw a couple little things in here, maybe. Just to pretend we gave it some attention. Ok, 
because I don't think for the final result we won't have really much of a whole lot bottom side of it. Tech is called cannabis. Woo! Makes everything 3D. Heck yeah. Nah, I haven't tried it. But you be tripping. Dang, you tripping. Yeah, don't trip. You be careful. If things look too 3D, you watch your step. Ah, mushrooms. Oh! There's the new, um, uh, what do you call it? Mario's coming out. New Mario movie. I mean, Sonic did it. Mario's gotta do it now. It's Chris Pratt. Of all people. Cyborg. Ah, we got a... It's technically... Um, actually... It's... I'm not even gonna pr try to pronounce that. Actually... It's the chemical in the mushroom. It's not the mushroom itself, per per se. Okay, this is this thing's gonna get burnt off, but we'll leave it. Alrighty, let's start doing some funny stuff. I mean, we're far they're, we're far enough along, I think. Okay, we gotta get rid of this uh, display. Yep, there's a new trailer for Mario. Brand new. Came out. You'd look for it. Which, it's kind of weird. Like, it has the, what do you call it? The penguins. There's a lot of penguins in it. Like, I, it's just, it's kind of a footnote in Mario 64. That's what movies do nowadays. They can If they can latch on to something, they'll latch on to it. Yep, there's a trailer, all right. It looks probably serviceable, I guess. I mean, it's probably going to be like Sonic movie, perhaps. Good enough if you shut your brain off for a little bit. But it does just enough pandering that you're like, Yeah, I, I know that reference! We got Mario 64. Yes! It was the bee's knees playing Mario 64 back in the day. Yeah. I think every kid got that for Christmas. We're all living the same, what do you call it, life in the different houses. Yeah, that was a big deal. Yeah, we were playing that all the time. Also, what do you call it, Pokemon Stadium and what else? Did uh, We're playing Battle Tanks as well. Vigilante 8, all that good stuff. No, Super Smash Bros was huge. Like, we couldn't even stop playing that. Yeah, Mario 64, Star Fox 64. That's kind of how it made us grow up like this, really, I think. Because a lot of these things are actually Star Fox flavored. Like, I kind of get a lot of inspiration from that. So yeah, very interesting. That's a downstream effect. Now I will make a game, and people will grow up on this game. And they will make things inspired by my things. How cool is that? Hold on. No, oh, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so now what we do is we get to the funny stuff. Hey. Okay. Alrighty. This is the color was so much better. Yeah, I know. Like CDs, they break. Cartridges, they actually hold up, and you can. They say not to blow into them, but of course you blow into them. But yeah, then once we have a PS1, is like, oh, now we have something that could break. The cartridge is really nice. Alrighty, so what has to happen here is uh, something funny. I don't name my components. Naming components is for weirdos. Here we go. We're about to go like cartridges. Oh wow, one terabyte. I mean, at this rate, Star Fox 64 playing for before. Oh yeah, Star Fox 64 was huge. Yeah, I mean, we tried not to kill each other a whole lot because we, we were, we were sore losers. 
We would just kind of mess around and fly around. And if one of us started shooting each other, we'd freak out. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Star Fox 64, Battle Tanks. All that good stuff. Yeah, and Mario 64. It was huge. Something like that. Negative 600. Negative 500. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we would freak out if we started killing each other. But no, that was a lot of fun. Especially when you could be like the guy with the bazooka and run around. Good times. Good times indeed. I mean, I wasn't quite sentient at the time, so I couldn't really do it very well, but... No, we, st we did the campaign, actually. No, we, we could do it. We were smart kids. Let's see, uh... 64. Oh, yeah. I've been playing uh, the original Super Smash Bros. Hold on. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. A little too much, actually. It's kind of my go-to. Just mar the so Smash Bros. 64. And also Brawl. I have Brawl emulator as well. Which legally acquired. Don't... Don't lecture me on these things. We own the game. We've bought the game. Yeah, I was playing, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I did, was playing Ocarina of Time a little bit ago. A while ago, actually. It's actually really cool because there's a, they have the entire game within Brawl. Like, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Like, it's so small compared to more modern, modern games. It's like, what, 20 megabytes? Something like that? The entire game is inside Brawl. That's crazy. And actually, they did speedruns of it, where they actually completed it, because it only gives you, like, half an hour time limit. And they beat but, uh, Legend of Zelda 64 in half an hour. Those mad lads. It was so crazy. Like, how do they do it? Okay, so this one's getting a little weird. I think we don't even need this right here. And there's our thing in the way again. Final boss was so cool, trying to escape the labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Good way to get traumatized whenever he turns into a massive whatever brain or whatever it was. That's freaky. Traumatize us poor kids. I not going to play that brawl game. Oh, yeah. No, you, you're lucky. You're very lucky you didn't play that. That was the kind of... People don't like brawl. Super Smash Bros. brawl. Because it was all Meta Knight. Meta Knight was the meta. One completely overpowered character. And it was also really floaty as well. All the tryhards want to go for melee. But I still like Brawl. Brawl is one of my favorites. I like Brawl. There we go. I mean, it's close enough, really. Not the best mechanism, but for a stream model, it's all right. Just for messing around. Yeah, as if this was a production model for like a game or something, it would have much better mechanic. I mean, I'd flesh this out more. Now all we have to make is the hangar. This is a loud color right here. I mean, yeah. Super Smash Bros. I mean, once you played one, you played... No, wait, no. They, they're hugely different, actually. Bro melee is way faster. It's crazy what they do in melee. Because it has a very high skill ceiling. 
So the distance between newbies and pros is like massive. Brawl tried to shorten that gap, but then it made it so people don't like the competitive competitive people don't like it so much. I'm just doing these manually. Just to relax a little bit. Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah. Dreamcast Soul Calibur. Indeed. I played Mortal Kombat. Yeah, definitely. I oh, yes, we did have a Dreamcast. It was such a cool system that you could put the save cartridges in the controller. Like, that was so cool. Like, you could play little mini-games on your save stick. Like, what the heck? Why don't they do that anymore? Yeah, I used to we used to play Sonic Adventure. And Sonic Adventure 2. Which I put some music in the streams from that. Because those are good games. Oh, hold on. Yeah, very good games indeed. I mean, that poor Dreamcast. It had good games on it. I don't know why it was so not popular. At least that's what I heard. Not sure how popular it actually was. Yeah, I didn't actually play um, Soul Calibur or anything. But yeah, definitely Mortal Kombat. I mean, who hasn't? Who hasn't played Mortal Kombat? Okay, no, that's too loud. I want that. I'm kind of autopilot right now. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go like this. Gotta get it fixed. We play Shamu. Ah. It sounds familiar. I don't believe I did, though. I mean, I would know it if I saw it, definitely. We're always looking at game demos and stuff like that. Play Shenmu. That's like the samurai one kind of, right? I forgot. It's a long time ago. It does sound familiar though. Yeah, I don't think we played that one. We're almost there. Final stretch. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. Dreamcast was a lot of fun. Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64. All the good stuff. So Calibur was because you could fight in 3D arena and step side to side 40 hits. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I played Soul Calibur. We definitely played that. Where you could, like, smack people and they fly, like, through the wall, kind of. And they fly off of things. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we played Soul Calibur. It was so cool. Okay, one little detail, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Atari, yes, definitely. We used to play Asteroids and that. Or my... Yeah, we used to have an Atari. Let's see, this goes here. That was fun times. Way back in the day, yeah. I remember I used to play Atari games. I think one of them was you had to push a button when a moth appeared on the screen. And I learned that it's actually much faster to hear the moth rather than see the moth. So whenever I was looking at it, I'd do it in like, what, uh, 30, 30 milliseconds, 40 milliseconds, something. No, like 100 milliseconds, like not that great, 100 milliseconds maybe. But then if you listen for it, I actually looked away from the TV, turned, my, turned myself around and just listened for the moth. You can press the button and like almost instantaneously kind of like... 30, 10 milliseconds, 30 milliseconds. Pretty cool. I thought it was so cool. 
Let's see, yeah, this one and this one. And that was a lot of fun. Way, way back in the day. We also played a lot of Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII was the bee's knees. I got to level, what is it, 99? It rolled over. I didn't even roll, it just stayed there forever. So most of my playthrough was just at level 99. Us weirdo kids with a lot of time to spare. The good old days, which... That's what they say, but... Soon we'll have a game that people can say that that was their childhood. That's the goal. That'll be fun. So I can say that I influenced some people. Anyway, we have our um, machine, I guess. Rough around the edges. We could do better, but... I think we did alright. I didn't have references for shuttle bay doors, is why these look kind of basic. Good enough, I suppose. My triangle shaped packaging box with lost CDs. Oh, yeah. Definitely. They had some of the coolest cases for CDs back then. They actually, like, tried to do st cool stuff with physical media. Which I think they do it now, but it's just pre-order stuff, like, you can get on the side. I mean, if I were to have a box for my game, I mean, if it ever has a physical copy, it'll have a really cool box. It's a requirement. It must have a really cool box. And yes, Baldur's Gate as well. That was a lot of fun. I used to be the guy that would shoot lightning arrows. It would annoy the heck out of my friend that I was playing with because he wanted to run in and hit things and I would just kill him all before he gets there. <laughs> I felt really guilty from that. No, that was a lot of fun. Baldur's Gate was a lot of fun. Sephiroth, yes, Sephiroth was a very good... Like, he, they still... Like, people can't get over him still. Like, he's... He's still in the games and all that stuff. It's his theme song. It's, it's the theme song that does it. I remember facing him. I didn't have the gall to face him until I was level 99, twice over. Then it was like a really epic battle. At, even at level 99, it was epic. So they did something right. I remember it fondly. One of my greatest moments in gaming. Did the Omni Slash right when he was about to die. So it was like epic as possible. There we go. Good enough, honestly. I'm not proud of this color, though. Let's fix this. Good enough. Heck yeah, I still listen to that theme song. Sephiroth. Let's see. It's epic! No. We'll just leave it simple. And that's not the main... Main attraction. I suppose we even have to mess with this, but we, well, we will. Let's see. Right here as well. Yeah, Sephiroth... I think I spent most of my time in the one place where it has like the whole like um what do you call it? Like a theme park kinda. With all the little mini games. I was really into that, so I was like, I'm gonna do this all the time. So I was always doing those mini games. So I was actually playing Final Fantasy VII just for the mini games. A little nerdy kid I was. But then I go and face Ruby Weapon and I would die immediately, so I was like, okay. Yeah, 
I have to give it to my big brother. Face Ruby weapon for me. Because he knows all the strats. We had the gamer guide. Like, physical copy. We wouldn't have to look things up at that time. Let's see. Ni no Kuni. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one. What's that one about? Is it fun? Do you recommend it? Yeah, I haven't been playing a whole lot of different games lately. I'm just too busy trying to make my own game. I get too caught up and I need to start branching out just a little bit more, more research. More research into things. I guess this is our spaceship. I guess we'll leave these alone. There's our reference. There's our thing. We got our stuff. I call this more or less done, I guess. Which is unusual. Usually I go make it a lot longer. Hold on. Get out of here. This... Is it rotating properly? Perhaps it just needs to... Need some space. Yeah, because I've been too caught up playing Destiny with my brothers. That's what that's our mutual game at this point. Which is not optimal because a few of us don't really like it a whole lot. Which I like it, but only when I'm playing with other people. So yeah, not a whole lot of games right now. Unfortunately. Let's see, uh Crappy game, just the practice. Yes! Your first game shouldn't be good. That's what they say. Which I want mine to be at least decent. I mean, because I'm. I have problems with that, but. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good the first one is. It's about learning. That's the main thing. Most certainly. Most certainly indeed. I think this movement should go a little bit later. Perhaps this whole movement should go along. Six thousand. Perhaps all after and perhaps oh yeah that too I have a lot of music as well that I have to remix a little bit before it's ready for prime time I suppose I have to work on that as well but one thing at a time, you have to pick your battles. You can't do everything at once. Make the prototype first. Make it so you have a solid foundation and then go for the cool stuff and make it what you want it to be. Alrighty. I mean, that's all I really wanted to do today. Just this. Let's see this. Like this, and why do I? Have, I'm just get rid of this bar mark there. Yes, and this to like this. Yeah, I mean, I relied on my brother for too long for music. I'm gonna have to make my own now. Anyway, we have our machine. Mission accomplished.
How long has the stream been going? Let's look. Yay! Woo! Yeah, that'll be fun. Indeed. Emotional support guy. It's important. Special thanks to... Uh, Indie 3D. Yeah, emotional support guy. Indeed, yeah, the credits list won't be very long. But I will have to look for other people, like for sound designers and um, a lot of other... Actually, a lot of other people, really. Marketers, duh. Not even marketers, just lawyers, I think. Or a lawyer. Team manager. Or, wait, no, I'm a team manager. I don't know, there's a lot of unspecific... It's not very specific yet, because I just don't know yet. I've got, I have a good idea on the workload, though. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. First, we must have make the prototype, and that involves a movement system. But I've, I'm pretty confident we'll get there. In the next few months, I think, I'll have a movement system. Maybe give him a gun. Make it fun. Make it so there's a game loop somewhere. Now, what's the best way to present this? Already? Oh, wait. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Oh, there's our, um... There's our thing. Ah, Rafael Rivera. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll do it by the real names. I won't pick usernames unless they really don't want real names. Which I'm not sure how my brother will react. He, he's very much of a recluse. But, like, this game is highly based on what he... He started it, so it was like... But he, but he doesn't want to be on the credits. So we'll see. He'll still be, he'll be on the credits either way. Yeah, I mean, but... Don't... Count your chickens before they hatch. There's a lot of work ahead of us. If we're going to, if, for us uh, pioneers that are going to make games for the next generation, a lot of work. It's hard to be excited about something when you just know how hard it's going to be. But I will remain. I will become excited anyway because that's the best way to attack it. With full determination, full speed ahead, and we'll get it done. Gosh darn it, we'll get it done. Anyway, here's our drone. I think three three hours is a good stream. Wait, it's not quite bright enough. Let's see, uh, up that brightness. Anyway, here's our uh, machine. Does his little thing. Turn off the shadows so we can do it. There we go. Mission accomplished. Anyway, I mean, that's all I had planned for today. Now that I have this newfound discipline, I could go making models for eight, nine hours at a time. Like, as long as I physically can make them. But you have to know when to cut it somewhere. Because that's the thing about art, is you just don't know when to cut it. For engineers, they know when to cut it. Engineers, artists, not so much. Two of my so just having TV with your game running so people can visit you. Yeah, that'd be so cool! Have like a big old, the splash screenshot on the front of my tombstone. That'll be fun. I mean, I don't want to be remembered just for that, but... Yeah. That'll be fun stuff. Indeed. Thank you very much. We got our thingabob. I'm just glad I didn't end up being like a giraffe that took six hours. I think this is long enough. Actually, I feel raring to go. Just I just want to keep modeling, but... You gotta stop! You gotta stop sometime. The video on Facebook group about SketchUp. Oh, cool. 
share the video. Ah, like which video? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll see it. I'll look for it. Differently. Yeah, I need to post more things to the Facebook group. I've been kind of neglecting it. Well, I guess that's that. I think I'll take my leave. It is 9 o'clock. Do hope you enjoyed. To any who are here watching and people watching later. And yeah. Wish you luck on your own endeavors. But what is one more thing? Just one more thing. I just can't resist sometimes. Oh, share the stream. Oh, um, I I suppose so. Um, yeah, I was about to share it uh, this week for the next one, so I could, because I think I'm ready for it. I just wanted to make sure I was, what do you say, consistent. But yeah, that'd be. I'll be all right. I'll probably share it on Reddit as well over the next week or so. So the next one I'll have at least some more uh, advertisement for it. Just I wanted to make sure I was ready for it. But yeah, thanks for being here. Definitely. I'll try to get your game working so I can get a good look at it. Anyway, thank you for being here and good luck. See y'all later.